layer one, layer two blockchains. What are they? How do they work? Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's say that you are driving through a big city like Atlanta and you are in one car, everybody else is in their one car and they are trying to get to where they need to go, right? You can think of that as a layer one blockchain. It is the foundational level which everything is built. Now, of course, there's a problem with this and that problem is that it's very, very easy to get congested because there's just so many cars on the roads at certain times, right? You think about rush hour traffic. Now that rush hour traffic is not always gonna be rush hour. It just depends on the time of day. It depends on the events that are happening. It depends on all these different factors, right? Now, imagine if you had that same concept, but instead of everyone being in their individual car, they are now traveling in buses. You can imagine that that would decrease traffic significantly because there's less cars on the road. That is the basics of layer twos and how they help improve efficiency. But after we buy something from our exchange, we're gonna to need to send it to a wallet. And we're gonna to have to send it to a wallet because we're gonna be operating in the Web3 space. And the only way we can operate in the Web3 space is through a personal wallet. Now, why the Web3 space? Because that is where these layer twos that we're about to talk about are going to become helpful. Now, let's say that we are working on the Ethereum network, which is very much analogous to my traffic analogy. And Ethereum network is like the foundation. All of these layer twos are built on top of Ethereum, right? Making them a layer two. So Ethereum is classified as a layer one. Now other layer one blockchains include like Solana or Bitcoin and things can be built on top of those layers. Now, the Ethereum network, what we're doing is we are processing each transaction on the Ethereum network one at a time. So this is the every car on the road analogy, right? You can think of each car on the road as driving through a poll tax. So, so this is going to cause a lot of congestion, which means slower transactions and usually higher fees. Now, when we come over here, what we have are these layer twos. These are just a couple of the layer twos. There's more layer twos that are being built that exist. I just couldn't fit them all on my whiteboard. These are our layer twos. Now the layer twos are gonna act like the buses in the analogy. So what they're gonna do is they're going to take a whole bunch of people with their individual taxes, but they're only going to pay that poll tax once. So we are processing a bundle of transactions at one time. This is going to make traffic run smoother and it's going to be more cost effective for the users. So the TLDR is that layer twos allow us to have faster and cheaper transactions while still operating on the layer one network.